The other day, my kids found some old photos of me. They cracked up. They were laughing, rolling around on the sofa. <laughs> I looked at them curiously, and when they'd recovered themselves enough to speak, they said, you were quite fat, Daddy. I went over and looked at the picture. It was true. There was a time that I'd been a bit bigger, but not only that, my hairstyle had changed and the clothes I had on betrayed that these pictures were taken in the 90s. The truth is that in life we go through stages and faith development is no different. Your ability to think about abstract concepts, understanding biblical doctrines, apply biblical truths to your everyday life varies depending on whether you're 6, 12, 16 or 22. Think about it, just like old photos, your faith will have looked quite different some years ago. It's like the Apostle Paul said to the church at Corinth, I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for solid food. A core church recognises therefore that there are stages of faith through which young people go. Now the obvious implication of this is that faith is something which needs nurturing, just as a baby's growth will be stunted through a lack of nourishment or the wrong kind of nourishment. The development of faith in our young people can also be stunted or stopped by a lack of nourishment or the wrong kind of nourishment. A core church will understand the stages of faith development that young people go through, will educate its church members, its parents, its youth leaders in these stages and will seek to create an environment where an individual's experience with Jesus can grow and flourish, wherever they are in their faith journey. So what are the stages of faith? Well, briefly, they are these. Children tend to reflect the faith of their parents or other significant adults in their lives. They have the right answers without necessarily understanding what they're saying, and they enjoy the approval that they receive when they demonstrate their faith. In this phase, faith is simple. They need to know the stories of Jesus and of the Bible. They need to enjoy church and they need to learn to pray. Teenagers, on the other hand, are gradually thinking more and more abstractly. So sooner or later, a teenager will be asking the important questions. Who am I? Where do I belong? And what power do I have as an individual in this big wide world? This is the phase where young people experience a personal faith for the first time and as such often decide to get baptised during these years. Young adults experience for the first time that they can take full responsibility for their own faith. At the same time, they're beginning to think about really big questions and are being challenged by the realities of an adult world. A great deal or, of, of re-evaluation goes on in this stage. And it's important that young adults have an arena where it's possible to explore questions that they're grappling with. At the same time, young adults need to feel that they are valued and can make a contribution. So the local church will need to create a space to think and create space to try new things in new ways. Now, I have to admit that I've just scratched the surface here, but there are some great resources available on the core website that will tell you more about stages of faith. But the whole thing can be summed up by thinking about what allows a person to grow. When a person experiences a safe place where they can be themselves, ask the questions that they need to ask and be understood by people who care, then they will grow in faith and maturity. How does your church cater for stages of faith?